Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jimmy Ventura in the booth with me is Rick Schiavone. Hello. Hello Jim, great to be here for another Monday Night Claw, the best wrestling show in the world. And WrestleMania right around the corner. This is absolute primetime season. And of course, this is coming off the back of last week where Supreme Strategy and Intellect won Rick Reckless the title back. Great teamwork from the Quad Skulls last week, Jim. God, I don't know how you can I don't know how you can say that, Rick. They were absolutely despicable, disgusting behaviour from Rick Reckless. Uh Skura Metso's been in a no, been in a local me. medical facility ever I'm since. Victorious. Poor guy, and you know, it could be defend. the end of his career. Absolutely disgusting, disgraceful behaviour. Why are we from talking Bob about Skulls. Jimmy's mangled, mishap and penis again? <laughs> It's been 54 months well, since I know, subbed and Jimmy's wonky penis dog, always Jim, comes up every couple of times. Jim, what, what sad, Jim, sad Jim, sad Jim, DD. <laughs> Thanks very much, Lemon, for that. <laughs> for that message, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, but thank you very much for staying fantastic <laughs> for 54 glorious months. <laughs> but yes, that was certainly that was certainly a message, wasn't it? Right. <laughs> hello, everybody. Oh, hello, for hello. you. I live for just one week, just a few days, and absolute chaos. I mean, poor Escuro in the hospital. It's outrageous, isn't it? Absolutely it's an absolute outrageous. Right, absolutely embarrassing coming from quad schools that show in their true colors. Absolutely embarrassing. Absolutely disgrace. Yeah. Completely shock. Oh, my God. Speaking of completely shocking, holy moly. Frosty's challenging for the Wendorf Championship. Wow, one of the strongest contenders we've seen ever, really, for the Wem Dope title. It doesn't get much better than Frosty. This, even for Noales, is going to be a challenge. Absolutely, holy moly. <laughs> Wouldn't be the owner, uh, Jack Bullock, it would be the ex New England Patriot quarterback. <laughs> But no, poor old Skuro is, you know, he was sent straight to the hospital. I mean, that was outrageous, wasn't it? The constant backstage assaults, outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Yes, taking advantage. Taking advantage that one of the true experts in backstage assaults was in there. They assault the Skuro was just enjoying. It's impossible to enjoy a title in this uh, universe. <laughs> just is a passive man. <laughs> At least he had a longer reign than Flicky. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought Squirrel enjoyed the backstage matches. <laughs> yeah, he does normally. Oh boy. <laughs> Here comes the man, the myth, the legend. The absolutely dominant Wemdope champion. He hasn't even looked close to being pinned or submitted so far in any of his matches. Um, but can Frost Lord Army change that? This is a step up tonight. Yeah, I'm interested to see how Big this test. goes, guys. Big test tonight. <laughs> hello, Stowe. Hello, Steve. Hello, Hanto. Hello, Muppet. Hello, Ratboy. Hello, Bezel. Hello, everybody. Hello, Sutter. Um, what's wrong with it? It's, it, you know, it's just... It was <laughs> There's nothing wrong. This is why they were there, to be... To, to look, you know, a bit like Ming the Merciless or whatever, you know, I just thought it was, a, it was just an idea. It's just an idea. <laughs> You've got to do something. We can't all just be giant lemons. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is not anything like a penis. I'm sorry, Jackal, but if that's, if that's what your penis looks like, I advise you to go to the hospital right now. <laughs> Urgently. <laughs> we could we could sort this out next week and in the meantime have Shawnee draw what he considers to be a penis and uh and then we'd know. Yeah, it's a great idea. It's a great idea I'll ask him now. <laughs> I mean, the Sony's concept of a penis. <laughs> Are we ready? 
Has and the world have enough struggles already? <laughs> I've asked him, let's see if he does it. <laughs> <coughs> Oh dear. He was playing these just the just the AI munchkin is just completely AI versus AI. I've got no idea how to play the game whatsoever. <laughs> Over a thousand hours in it. No idea how to play it. Oh, Frostle Dami with a big backbreaker to start. This is what we were worried. Oh my goodness, this is normally what Noalias does to others. Woohoo! 1350 hours. <laughs> I don't know any of the controls. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? Fantastic. <laughs> Here is Noalios versus Frosty. And remember, Noalios can't buy Frosty. <laughs> oh, the oh, oh, anything you can do. Looking at the side of size of Frost Lord Army, that's pretty impressive from Noalius there. Leg drag takedown from Frost Lord Army, mind you. Oh boy. Him right back in control. <laughs> the potato train is coming to town, hello. <laughs> Glorious wrestler. <laughs> oh my god, we can have custom music in the next one. We can actually have the potato train as entrance music. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> you even make a belt, you know the Tato belt. Oh God, yes, yes. It's all, it's all coming together. <laughs> <laughs> Frosty oh. having to roll to the outside. Noalius uh, starting to leverage advantage here, but he misses wildly. <laughs> Hello, Shawnee. Sorry, some of the people here want you to draw the concept of a penis. Not a penis, but the concept of the penis. <laughs> Huge right hand, Noalius eating concrete. Got to watch the timer here, though. Frostled Army can't win this if it ends on the outside. Nice move. Yeah. Because Jack Jack Bull, you see, had the uh, had the audacity to claim that your Wemdorp uh, illustration wasn't absolutely amazing, <laughs> and then he, he even had the gall to say it looked like a penis, and I said that looks like a really weird penis. <laughs> so then we'd like to see your impression of a penis <laughs> and see how close it is to the Wemdorp. <laughs> oh dear! Look at this. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Slammed onto the hardest part of the ring. Absolutely. And again, they fight on the outside. This suits Duvalius. The flick he's given as good as he's getting. It's a, yeah, it's getting close to the count out. That's not going to be enough for Frosty, is it? He's got to get in the ring. Wow, Duvalius decides to break the count. Very sporting. Yeah. A lot of pride, I feel, in his, uh, in his wrestling. And that's a great <laughs> slam straight into pin. Just the two, maybe even just the one. <laughs> You're right, Sean. He'd sure know a penis when it slapped him in the face, though. <laughs> right. Oh my goodness. Outside again, dumped unceremoniously by Frost Lord Army. I don't think any man's really got the advantage so far. Frost Lord Army doesn't want it on the outside again, though, which makes a lot of sense. And he gets caught. It takes Whoa. too long. Oh my god, look at that. Bounced off the ropes and. Unbelievable. Yeah, Wemdorf is incredible. Nice lock from Wallace. Ref just check it. The Frost Lord Army doesn't want to tap, but there's no way he's given up that easily with a title on the line. This is Frost Lord Army's chance to really prove himself, but what a takedown. Double leg takedown with elevation from Wallace. Great stuff from Wallace. Oh, oh. misjudge the distance a bit there. Frosty's oh absolutely out of it. Oh, man. It is starting to look bad now. Writhing in agony. <laughs> Needs to find something. Fornawalius tries to put him away. Tight sleeper hold could go out here. I don't think I have ever seen uh, Frosty being so dominated here. Um, 
Yeah, yes, yes, Lemon. Someone has tapped the neck crank. Uh, Flat Fart did versus EAB. <laughs> No, well, I was with... wondering if that was possible, so <laughs> I appreciate that being cleared up, actually. Yeah, it was like two or three falls, and that was one of them. Or first to oh three, something God. like this. This is Brooklyn, it's Suplex City. Oh. He are going to put Frostlord away now. He's absolutely wrecked him. Yeah. It's the F5 skift subs. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Another guy put away. Even though it's someone of the caliber of Frostlord Army, now he's kicked out! Unbelievable. I think that's the first time anyone's kicked out of the F5 gift subs. <laughs> Frosty wants uh, another five. <laughs> Unfamiliar territory for Noalius now. How will he respond? Well, this is pretty impressive for starters. Yep. And it's still. Russell Army, notorious for fighting on through thick and thin. And oh. here we go! Finally! Frostlord Army finds something. Massive elbow to the back of the head. No. Oh, and then his timing's off. Just taken too much damage previously. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's Noelia's doing here? Oh my god, this. Okay, phew. I thought it wasn't going to be PG for a minute, but it's okay. <laughs> Him out and stomps a mud hole. Softening up the arm. Wonder if he wants another submission in a minute. Yeah, he's, he's no stranger to the arm bar, is all normal, yes. He can beat you so many ways. You never quite know what to defend against, I get the feeling, when you're in the ring with Noalius. Yeah, absolutely. The penis belt is hypnotic. It's not a penis belt, though. It's the Wemdorp Championship. Looks nothing like a penis. Again, I shouldn't have to tell anybody that this isn't what a penis looks like. <laughs> wow, <laughs> huge bear hug from Frosty! Oh! One! No! I thought oh he tapped! Goodness, I, I thought the ref was moving off! To tap. Yeah. Wow. Oh, boy. Wally is very quickly turning this back around in his favour. Frosty briefly having flashes of control, flashes of offense, but then it's gone again. Mm. This is why he's the champ. Game going for the neck. <laughs> Domination from the eyebrows. Frosty can't compete on that front, of course, with his, with his mask on. <laughs> Big clothesline puts Demolius. Forces him to roll to the apron. Mm. Oh my goodness. No, oh, Frosty misses Hunter. again. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Suplex. I kind of feel like he's throwing this one away a bit, guys. Frostlord <laughs> Army's had opportunities here. I guess he just took so much of a beating previously. But it kind of scrambled his senses, and now the F5 gift subs for the second time. <laughs> the F10 gift subs, if you will. <laughs> Surely now, that has got to be it. Thanks, is retained yet again. Again, not looking dead. What? No! <laughs> no Holy way. Shit. It's not going to do him any good, though, unless he finds something elbow to the face of Noalius. Where is this coming from? Oh, my goodness, the pedigree. Oh, my goodness, the pedigree. No way. No way. Surely. No. This would be insane. He hasn't kicked out. Oh! oh. Two and three quarters. That is the first time we have ever seen Noalius close to being pinned or submitted. And we have a match on our hands. Anybody could win this now. Noalius, desperate uppercut. Oh, boy. Side suplex lands it. <laughs> Still softening for the armbar. We've not seen it yet. Oh, man. <laughs> Just pounding Frostlord Army back down, but look how tired he looks. <laughs> yeah, Fimir, if you haven't seen Shawnee's link, you've got, you've got to click on that link right now. <laughs> All right, okay. I'll make the mistake of... <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Ya, yeah, la culvé, yes. That's proper modern art there. Oh, and Stop now I have away. to live with that the rest of my life. <laughs> round and pound now for Nualis. This is this is devastating. <laughs> We've got to be near the work. end. It's not even safe for life. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh my goodness. Boy. What a power bomb. And again. Go. Two. Wow. And again. Go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> One Frost Lord Army. We might never see him again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what the heck? What is going on here? What is going on here? <laughs> Shoulder tackle takedown! Frosty in control! This is insane! How? This is absolutely insane! What does Noelius have to do to put him away? Close <laughs> line in the corner! <laughs> Noelius fights back! Belly to belly! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Frostlord Army's out! Frostlord Army's completely out! I mean, Noelius looked a bit out just from how. <laughs> How much he's been wrecking him. <laughs> he's tiring. Oh my god, here we go again. This is it. 15 gift subs. <laughs> this must be it. This what must be it. Incredible, incredible effort from one Frost Lord Army, but it ends. <laughs> what? Tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> for Noalias to win surely like what, how can you how can you do more than three F5 gift subs oh no it is insane it's absolutely he's gotta try insane. a submission or something right sleeper hold this honestly could be it no no Rosalind clearly not <laughs> oh my god well it's been a long time that since Frosty was in uh, Night EF maybe he just doesn't give up sometimes anymore <laughs> he could he could tap this could be in the bear hook. Could put Noelius out here. We could have a new champion. And boy, has he earned it. No. Oh, man. The wave off That's always gets go. you, doesn't it? And then pins, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've seen this on matches before. Oh. Oh, my days. Neither of these men have anything left. Oh, one more pedigree. Oh, my goodness. New web dump champion. How has Noelius lost? How on earth? He has dominated this match. He has done three F5 give subs. And oh, yet, man. he's about to lose the title. No. no. <laughs> These are not human beings. They are absolute monsters. My God. I think this is the most epic window uh, title fight I've ever seen. It the may versus well be. what might have been another pedigree. <laughs> I do know WrestleMania's around the corner, right? They can <laughs> save a bit. <laughs> Oh god, here we go, the triple power bomb again. Got to be. Got to be. Oh my goodness, into the F20 gift subs. Oh boy. Good night, Frosty. I oh, I just, wow, I can't believe what we've just seen. No, he's this has got to be it. Oh, he's in the ropes. He's, he's actually in the ropes. In the ropes. He's in the ropes. That's terrible refereeing. Oh <laughs> my god, what a controversial ending for this fight that Noalius keeps the title. He had to pay a high price, 20 subs to be precise. <laughs> wow. What the well, hell? We have just witnessed one of the greatest one-on-one -on -one Monday Night Claw matches of all time. <laughs> It was, a, it was a great match, but what an ending. That is outrageous, isn't it? Not the way you want to see a match like that finish. I think there might be unfinished business here, but you never know with the Wemdog file. Frosty is not going to be happy when, when he wake up next week. <laughs> <laughs> Justice for Frosty. Oh, and the fans are not happy. They're not. They're doing. They're, they're making them sell themselves heard. That was a terrible, terrible ending. What's going on in the JFW? Where are the values that made these uh, 
Universe, Shine over all others. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Well, we might get another classic because we've got the new Plim Plum Pluserweight champion, Humorous Chimp in action, and Store the uh, <laughs> the Wrestling Kick Nation champ, <laughs> kind of, ex champ, uh, has now come to the singles competition. Oh, well, oh baby. Gentlemen. I was so excited for this last week, and what we got ultimately was a lot better. But this is absolutely incredible. The new champion, I can't wait to see Chip in action, and the new Plimp on Blueserweight store. Oh, baby. Well, gentlemen, I have a few things that I need to solve, so I'm leaving you here. Enjoy the rest of the night. Enjoy the rest of Claw. Pretty sure there will be a, a lot of surprises waiting for you there. <laughs> Thank you very much, Fabio. Glorious to have you, you in. Fine, man. <laughs> Jim, we know what Humorous Chimp brings to the table in the Plim Pom Bluserweight division. He is a force to be reckoned with. What do you think we're going to see out of store? Oh, we're probably going to see some uh, horrible miscues when he tries to do his move. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... some, sometimes he was accused of letting Flicky do the heavy lifting in their tag team title defenses. So I don't think we're quite sure how good he is. Yeah, it's, it'll be interesting. I mean, he's, he's had some great matches, but yeah, he's had some... He's taken some off, hasn't he, for sure? So, yeah. <laughs> Is Flicky invisible? <laughs> Probably thinks he is. <laughs> yeah, he, he just feels invisible. <laughs> Stood there naked in the ladies' locker room. <laughs> oh, dear. If he doesn't move, you can't see him. <laughs> Oh, baby. The biggest belt around the smallest waist. The American dream has come true, finally. A chimp is the Plim Pom Bluserweight champion of the JFW. <laughs> that doesn't bring a tear to your eye. I don't know what will. <laughs> yep. Oh, dear. Just because Hancock scribble, uh, scratched his name onto it doesn't mean it's his belt. <laughs> Hancock was here. <laughs> that should be on the belt, shouldn't it? That'd be great. <laughs> That's a good idea. But yeah, unfortunately, you're sorry to break it to your scousers. Once you've touched something, it doesn't make it yours forever. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure Hancock sold it online about 20 times and never sent it. So if it, ever it wasn't somebody's, it's not Hancock. <laughs> oh, <dear>. Cosmic horror <laughs> shit. I'll be honest, I found I found the face on it on somebody. <laughs> and I thought that looks an amazing face for a halfling. <laughs> so then made the made the rest. <laughs> Told me it was lost in the post. <laughs> Store managing to uh, back Chimp up here. Impressive that he can go toe-to-toe. -to -toe strength with the Chimp. Yeah. Both got hairy feet, so maybe that's uh, an element of it. <laughs> well, you know what they say about hairy feet, Jim. Yeah. No, I don't. What do they say about hairy feet? The same thing they say about big feet. <laughs> oh, do they? I didn't know that. Oh god, that wouldn't be very nice, would it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you don't need socks, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you well, what were you thinking, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Swinging self rock bottom from Store and Chip in trouble. Store making his intentions known here. Well, what do they call it when you've won all the titles in the organization, Jim? I 
don't know. Grand Slam, maybe? Maybe. Sure, Shawn Michaels did it, and that was that was quite famous, and then some other wrestlers did. Anyway, have we had anyone succeed it in, uh, in the JFW? Has anyone won all the titles? I don't believe so, no. Um, no. <laughs> maybe that's uh, maybe that's Store's mission here. Maybe. I will have to have a look and see what, what everyone's won in that and put it on the website. It'd be great, wouldn't it? It'd be great that to have like a awesome. proper that would be awesome. A proper website. Just a shame that Skuro would be on the list now. <laughs> yeah. Although, however brief it was. <laughs> Bobby, yeah. I believe you. <laughs> if anyone could uh, step up from the Plim Plum Pluserweight division, you've proven it's you. Absolutely, yeah. Beating, beating the year B in that famous match. <laughs> Beat Tony in like one of the craziest, <laughs> one of the craziest matches. <laughs> Nearly won the Royal Rumble, but couldn't lift Goliath Game's leg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so close. <laughs> <laughs> we need like a Rocky training montage of Muppet trying to lift things that are like Goliath Games' leg. Oh god, that'd be brilliant, yeah. <laughs> oh wow, brilliant flip flop blues away actually there from Chip, but he might have this. Oof. No, not even a one. Store is tough as a halfling. He's been beaten up his entire life. He's got that resistance, you know, like the bullet resistance. <laughs> he's trained up. Getting constantly pummeled. <laughs> you either go that way or the, the cracks show and the injuries start to tell, right? It's one or the other. That's true, yeah. That's true. You never know which way it's going to be with halflings. Yeah, Sean, it's just, just some stupid. Problem. It's just some stupid meme about building bullet resistance by getting shot. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly, exactly. You worked it out. Yeah. <laughs> you start with like small caliber ones and then work your way up. <laughs> oh, store with the pin. Rep He's got it. Get down. Got a Oof. two. Wow. Oof. The champ a second away from losing. Yeah. Uh, he's not defended the title yet, has he, Jim? Jim? He hasn't. No, no. This is uh, this is his first appearance, I think, since winning it. Uh, this would be a, a real embarrassment for the new champion. Were it to be put away Ooh. by a halfling, oh my goodness, he's in all sorts of trouble. No oh, man. That could be it. Oof. Two again, Jim. <laughs> Yes, Blake, you exactly the same idea. <laughs> oh, man. Him just flinging shit and seeing what sticks. <laughs> oh, the Egyptian slam! Oh, baby! Out of nowhere! And he's going up top! Oh, man. Where did this come from? Woohoo! One ton, and that's gotta be it! You don't kick out of that combination. What was the ref doing then? Oh! Jim, we've, we've got to get some better refs. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah, it is pretty bad. To be honest. Okay. All the way heel kick there from Chimp. Really, really nice, but he's, uh, he's put his best two moves. On store and it's not got him away. And here comes Store. Oh. Ace plants him, holds on for the pin. Is He's this nearly it? got him before. Oof. Oh. Two and a half again. Store's pleased with himself. But maybe he should concentrate on the fight instead of just celebrating prematurely. Oh my goodness, Jim. Here we go. Oh, God, that's devastating, isn't it? Brain buster. But on a chip, they don't have much brain. Oh! oh two and three quarters. <laughs> He's got wow. just enough. <laughs> chip won't be second banana at the start. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go, though. Yeah, he did so much trouble. 
It's been pretty much all store for a while now, hasn't it? Yeah, ever since uh, Chimps back-to-back -back a Chimpic Slam Swanton <laughs> nearly won him the match. He's not really got anything in since then. Mm -hmm. Ace planted. Held on. I think this is it now. It could be. Oh, oh my goodness. Desperation from Chimp. Oh my, wow. Here we go. This is going to decide it one way or another. Can Chimp get out the way of a flying halfling? <laughs> Two pluses rolled. Oh, he's caught him. Got him. He's caught him. Oh, wow. That's why he's the champion. Wow. Look at that pin. Oh, no. That was awesome. That was, that was actually awesome. Arm drag by Storm, though. Still fighting back. Uppercut by Chimp. Who can get on top? Oh, so, Spanish flag. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. Oof. Both men just about kicking out at two now. We are on the precipice, and somebody's got to fall. Yeah. Finance carry takedown. So we're trying to walk Chimp to the ropes. Ooh. Chimp catches the kick. Leg drag takedown. Beckoning his opponent up. Was not even got it in him to stand. Oh. That could be it. He's been beaten to an absolute pulp now. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness! Tilt a whirl into armbar. What? How? <laughs> Stores oh, out. Four rolls, th rolls through to get out, but he's <laughs> still in trouble. Nightmare takedown. Oh, bust chip up the back elbow. And he's got him! Oh, he's got him with the Brain, brain Buster! Busts Bust him open, it's lands the Brain Buster, and he's just beaten the Plim Plum Bluesweight champion in his first match as champion, Jim. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. He has made a heck of a statement today. Wow. Wow. What a performance. What an impact. It's a good job for Hancock that he just lost the belt. <laughs> There's a new halfling in town, and he is going to dominate the Plim Plum Bluesweight. Unbelievable. It was no fluke that he was champion for so long as tag team partner of Flicky. <laughs> so I can go. Yeah, what a what a performance from the nightmare. The nightmare fling. <laughs> Incredible. Well, now we've got a another cha another champ, more champions in action. And you'd think in this matchup that <laughs> six feet down under were the champions, but nope. <laughs> it's Ansi and to Scotty, north and south. Jim, have we have we ever had the champions be such big underdogs before? I don't think so. No, this is this has got to be this has got to be it. This has got to be the absolute. Worst champions in JFW history. <laughs> <laughs> but also maybe the most popular. Be, be right back, Jim. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> oh, man, hairy feet. I never knew that about people with hairy feet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Stoll, yeah. Maybe it was those, those tag team instincts. Uh... Being a hindrance, but well, to be fair, you know, Anzi and Scotty, we've slagged them off a fair bit, but they, they've done the business, haven't they? they? They managed to defeat Six Feet Down Under to get the shot, and then they, they won their shot, so you know, fair play to them. But now they are in the big boys' league, and this is their first match as champs. It's and gonna be and we'll slag them off even more. <laughs> yep. Yes, you know, you, you, you are right, Jim. <laughs> they uh, they won two huge matches and uh, they won it in style. If they win tonight, I think they put some a lot of question marks to bed. Yeah. Absolutely.
Because one of the problems is, right, how they won it. That three-way tag team match really, really favors underdogs. Yeah, that's fair, yeah. But, I mean, it, they were amazing. <laughs> how they did it, though, it was, it was I unreal. don't disagree. I, I don't disagree at all. Another problem for them here is that this isn't Peppered Biscuit and Night Demon, who were a little bit hot and cold as a tag team, despite being amazing singles wrestlers. This is Gengar, the ultimate tag team wrestler with Night Demon, one of the greatest in JFW history. Yep. I just love it inside of that. You have to respect what they did, even if you don't respect them as characters in a computer game. <laughs> <laughs> harsh, harsh words, but fair. <laughs> Oh. Hey. I never thought I'd see this, Jim. <laughs> I never ever thought I'd see this entrance with gold around their waist. <laughs> Oh, man. It kind of suits them. <laughs> it kind of does. What I want to know is just how much bigger strap does, uh, does Scotty's belt have than that? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Just got his stretch right to the limit, and he's like folded a knot in the back of his. <laughs> <laughs> they say ignorance is bliss, Jim. It seems like these two never really know what they're about to get into, and and maybe that really does work to their advantage. <laughs> they're so happy, aren't they? Love they really to see. are. See, I'm gonna start see starting out against yeah. Night Demon. That just can't be good. No, <laughs> no, it's not. Am I gonna open with a swift concussion? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can Ansi feel right at home? Well, I think Ansi's about ready for the pin now. <laughs> oh, fights back, wild right hand and a chop, and another right hand finally gets caught out by Night Demon. Test of strength, surprisingly not going Ansi's way. <laughs> Oh, oh self rock bottom! He does have speed though, doesn't he, Jim? And he does catch people by surprise. He does, yeah. Look at and this. this is exactly what they need. Quick tags, good tagging. Yeah, slick, slick stuff. Unbelievably, Night Demon in just a little bit of trouble early. thing you, you can't joke about is the power of Descotti. He he really has got something, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> A sausage roll mostly. <laughs> <laughs> My demon thoroughly back in control. No! Commentators cursed. Ooh. Great power by Descotti and here comes the drop. Oh! oh! It's a lot of weight. It's a lot of weight coming down on the chest tonight, Demon. If he needed yeah. to breathe, that would have knocked the wind right out of him. After a few years of decay, you better believe there's some cracked ribs now. Oh, the nasty drop kick to the side of the head, though, by Night Demon, stalking his prey. Oh, great reversal, though. Shoulder takedown by Descotti. Doesn't want to let uh, Gengar in. That might be their best chance if they just never, ever let Night Demon tag this match. Yeah, yeah. Second tag for North and South. None so far for six feet down under, Jim. Yep, look at this. Synchronized kip-ups. Uh -oh. oh, no, but they let him tag. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
go, misses, Ansi ducks out of the way and then gets absolutely wiped out. What? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Normal service resumed. Is that it? No. <laughs> Instant kick out. Oh my goodness. Ansi doing a great job of getting under the arms of Gengar twice now. Can't get the big guy down though, and that's going to cost him. No, finds the back elbow again though, the drop kick, not getting it done. Not enough weight behind it. For a guy of Gengar's size, what on earth? <laughs> What on earth? Boy, howdy. It's not like he's beating up a child. <laughs> like watching a calcium cas match. <laughs> oh oh my oh my goodness. So many power bombs. Arm drag takedown though. Where's Ansi finding this? DDT! <laughs> he's hanging in there. Desperation moves, but they're working for now. Whips him into the corner. Might get a tag away. That's exactly what he needs. Yeah. He does. Slick stuff. Slick stuff from north and south. Beautiful teamwork. Where? Work. Where have they found this from? What on <laughs> earth is going on? This is not the JFW. I've fallen into some weird parallel universe. <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it? Licky has a friend. Quad Skulls are doing dastardly things and North and South are the tag team champions. What the heck? <laughs> Maybe we've gone into some alternate reality at some point somehow. I blame Mario Lancers. Yeah, yeah, it's a good point. I heard he was trying to cast some spells so that everyone would forget who... Uh, who the bread mask was, and then he's he messed it up, and something you know something's happened. Interesting. It seems about right. It does seem about right. Double arm suplex, underhook suplex by Night Demon. Very nicely executed. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Night Demon. About a million commentators curse. It's oh, couldn't get to Scotty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to Scotty, just too big, just too many sausage rolls. Oh, but he ducks the big boot beautifully. And belly to back is there. Very nice from Night Demon. Oh, oh my word. Inside, what a clothesline yeah. to follow it up. Scotty rolling out the way of the stumps. Mm -hmm. Rising the agility for the, for the big guy. But not getting it. Yeah. Oh, and there's that horrible drop kick again to the side of the head. On to Scotty again. He's, at least he's only hitting Look. his head, though. That's since... <laughs> <laughs> the Scotty's least important part of his body. Yeah, if you if you bruised his stomach, he'd be pretty upset, I'm sure. Yeah, or his jaw, you know, just don't interfere. Oh, wow. <laughs> don't interfere imagine with being the Imagine being the doctor to tell the Scotty he has to drink soup for a week. <laughs> There's a glorious, glorious three amigos, though, from the Scotty. It is, and a Night Demon back in trouble. A pin. Gengar. Oh, Gengar. Yeah, Gengar trusted him. Oh, no, one count. Yeah, just, just the one count for now, but uh, can't be a million miles away from worse. Nasty <laughs> elbow to the head, and here we go! Is Scotty going to try and put him away? Package pile driver. Oh, boy. Oh, no! no! Night Demon! Huge counter. Yeah, that's very not, true, Bezzel. <laughs> not going for the tag. Whips to Scotty. Oh my word, sends him flying. And then goes after Ansi, but misses. Wow. Ansi and uh, Night Demon right in the face of each other. Then Night Demon going after to Scotty. Ansi letting it go for now, wise. Oh my, what, what happened to Night Demon then? He just got tired. That was at the worst possible time. Oh dear. Oh wow, just as to Scotty recovered and then wiped him out. Unbelievable. Oh no, but then he catches him. <laughs> How many feet of concrete tonight, Jim? Uh, only eight. Only eight. Okay. Scotty might be all right then. We'll see. Oh, great counter. Left hook from Scotty. Oh, my goodness. And the right sends him into the concrete. Mm -hmm. We're up to five, though, and we're in a dangerous kind of area. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Ooh. Night Demon eats steel steps. That got him into the safe part, though, isn't it? You know, at least he was guaranteed to get back in there. Yep. Scotty feels like he can finish this soon. 
Don't blame him. It's Mingar been probably dominant. not the quickest at breaking up tags, but then I think it, I think he does weirdly, right? I think he does quite well at it, which you wouldn't presume. Well, it's only like two strides and he's there, isn't it? That's the thing that uh, yeah, maybe, maybe that's it. You could just step over the top rope as if it isn't there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, instant reversal by Night Demon on Ansi. Bad start and oh no, there goes a the fingertip. Is he doing his best Tony Iommi impression? Oh, nice uppercut though. Ooh. Oh, super kick misses. That would have been incredible. Well done, Night Demon. And can he finally bring in Gengar? He can. Yes, he can. <laughs> oh, boy. Jesus. I'm seeing a world of pain. Giving Descotty a much needed breather, but uh, how long he can hang in there before needing to tag back out, we'll have to see. I can't imagine it's going to be long. Ducks the clothesline. Oh, my goodness, DDT again. Look at Anzi. What's what's he's he's loving it. He's absolutely loving it. <laughs> and now he's not. <laughs> he was a man possessed, but then <laughs> not so much now. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my word, how high up is that? That's obscene. Like falling off a ten foot building. Yeah, pretty brutal. Oh, tried to go for the tag. Oh, oh my goodness, he sent the Scotty flying. That could be it. That could be it, Jim. If the Scotty can't recover from that, Ansi's done. Yeah. I think you can't see it on the screen, but I think there was a sausage roll in the crowd. <laughs> the Scotty <laughs> saw it and he was off. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. All Night Demon's got to do is pin. He has won this. If he finds the pin. Yeah, sure. Oh, and there it is. GG. <laughs> Amazing to Scotty Gengar. got Gengar, but not the pin. Put his body on the line, got wiped out to prevent the Scotty from making the breakup successfully. <laughs> and then somehow Ansi kicked out anyway. Unbelievable. Incredible stuff. Look at this arm drag takedown. He has desperately got to find the pin. He's in so much trouble. He's in such a bad way. Might even already back in control. And here comes Gengar again. This is awful. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my word. The pin! The pin! No! No, he dragged himself up the ropes <laughs> instead. Oh, darn it. I thought he was getting that. Oh, wow. Comes out the ring. Tossed off like with a bad disdain. smell. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and see no oh, stranger to that, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Hansi, recovering. Yeah, win for win for Gengar here. Puts him into the corner. Washes him to a degree. I feel like he should really be making this tag though. I completely agree, Jim. What the <laughs> heck is he doing? Somehow a shoulder breaker into pin. Oh, that was what really cool. What, what the heck was that? What the hell? Yeah, Night Demon was got totally him. confident, but surely he's going to get him here, yeah. The dire death drop. <laughs> Night Demon him. has to break this up. Yeah. And he's done it. Champion, he's not coming, Jim. It's yeah, he's over. Got him. He's got Champions him. for a reason, Jim. <laughs> Look how upset Night Demon is, but how did he not know he needed to break that up? <laughs> he's done it again. He's done it again. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> I still haven't given them victory music and they've won three times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. It does feel like the biggest waste of the JFW budget there could ever be, and yet... <laughs> I think Six Feet Down Under are just too selfish. Like don't feel understand any sympathy or empathy for their tag team mate it's true they probably need a necromancer don't they to bring them together i think that's what's needed you know i think that's the that's the thing with undead isn't it you know they're too they're too brainless basically isn't yeah. it <laughs> overpowered in singles but just lacking a little something in the tag team division crazy yeah. all right so now we've got <laughs> not Johnny Five. It's it's definitely not Johnny Five. He was attacked by Johnny Five last week. Clavius is taking him on again. 
Uh, this time extreme rules, but with with uh, definitely no no Johnny Five guaranteed. Um, yeah, he's the only guy we know he isn't. And uh, in a minute, if Clavius comes out, then uh, then we know it isn't Clavius as well. Oh, and I suppose the uh, sorry that all all the members of the Elimination Chamber we can we can rule out. So them yeah. and J Five. Yeah. We're getting there. We're slowly, we're slowly but surely nar narrowing the field as to who mystery can be. Like playing Guess Who. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty great game, wasn't it? Guess Who. <laughs> it, w it was. It was actually a really good game. Yeah. <laughs> well, nice to see uh, Clavius back in singles competition. See how he fares. You think you know. It is, it is great to see him, but uh, he's got to have a lot of questions about this, Jim. He knows he's going in with a great, because they're the world champion. And imagine coming down to face someone that you don't know the identity of. Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? How are you supposed to make a game plan for that? I don't know. I mean, he seems to do all of Johnny Five's moves. <laughs> yeah, but he might just be throwing us off. Yeah. He was, a, he was uh, on the I original soundtrack. I, I secretly suspected it was J5, um, <laughs> but uh, completely disproven. Um, you know, I was made a fool of like anybody else that thought that. Yeah. And we found out last week. Yeah, I thought for sure it was J5, but it's not. It's actually not J5. He's got J5's music. He's got J5's rubber duck. <laughs> he's got J5's moves. <laughs> he's got J5's body type, but he's not J5. <laughs> I think so, yeah, my boy. It was definitely because uh, Skuro made him, so it was very early, very early on. D to be fair, there was one clue. He won the world championship. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good. <laughs> that's a good point. It was it was it was J Five's duck, wasn't it? But he stole it off somebody. Oh, I can't remember. It's so long ago. J Five like stole it off somebody, or somebody stole it off J Five, or something. But now this is just this must just be Mr. Ree's duck. <laughs> could could be could be Ducky. It could be Ducky's duck. Yeah, it could, it could just be Ducky. Yeah, it could just be Ducky. Could could be actually Ducky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's uh, well look out. See if he does much uh, much foul in this match. <laughs> yeah. The shoes aren't tiny, but it could, it could still be sat up, but just with padding in to make his feet look bigger. <laughs> well, yeah, we all remember that uh, Who Framed Crossy the Clan episode, right? Exactly, yeah. Yes. Need Clavius to stomp the toes of the boot and see if he says ow. <laughs> it's essential. Oof. Right, Mystery holding his own. Oh my goodness, the power of Clavius. This guy Oof. works out. Mystery getting heavily booed there. I guess fans don't like not knowing who he is. <laughs> Maybe Muppet, yeah, imagine that. <laughs> but then J5 attacked him, so that kind of rules out Satter and Muppet a little bit, doesn't it? Be very odd Oof. if... Uh, doesn't seem unlikely unless unless he's leaning into the game of uh, you know trying to trying to have us all fooled. Yeah, maybe misdirection. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good point. Saturn knows all his moves from being his tag partner. Boy, howdy, who is it? Will Clavius try to remove the mask? Yeah, yeah. That'd be that'd be great if one of the opponents could manage that. I'd love it. <laughs> well, Joe, well, he could be wearing a fat suit, couldn't he? <laughs> it's possible. Oh, God, he's really been hurt there, Mystery, hasn't he? Holy moly. Could be, could be Tom Brady. He's retired now, right? Could be, yeah. Could be Nicolas Cage. <laughs> many, many JFW superstars. <laughs> not died yet, so I'm not thinking Sean Bean. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Beautiful stuff, the float over netbreaker. He's he's doing well here, Clavius. Might be mm. on the verge of earning himself a, a title shot. Yeah, very nice stuff. It 
could be Gronkowski, yeah, we've just got no idea. Hopefully we'll find out sooner rather than later. Just the, the one count, but Mystery needs to get some offense in here. Yeah. If he, if, he, if he spikes a pretend football after he wins, we'll know it's Gronk. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, big impact. This is all Clavius. This is not good for whoever Mr. E is. He's not proven himself to be much of a world champion so far. A little bit of offense now. Oh, nice move. Yep, needs some more of that. Oh, go for a weapon. Oh, my word. Oh, boy. If you can't win honestly, <laughs> cheat. That's what I always say. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wow. Well, without cheating, maybe it is Tom Brady. <laughs> 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 oh, here we go, the Clavius Classic. Beautiful recovery from the baseball bat shot. I thought he'd be in trouble there. <laughs> right back in control. EDT through the ropes. Mm -hmm. Lovely stuff. Stalking his prey now. I don't think Mr. E just getting beaten up is going to reveal much about who he is. <laughs> What if mystery is Jim's? Could be. Oh, man. It, it can't be fame here, right? He was in the Elimination Chamber. Yes, that's correct. Oh, I was just thinking we're going to get a weapon. That seems very fame here. <laughs> oh, hangs him out. Mr. E going up. He needs something big. Oh, high risk, high reward time. It's a good equity play, Jim. <laughs> Top raw B. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, solid two count. Mr. E getting himself back in this between the baseball shot and the top rope uh, bomb. Very close. Sometimes it only takes two big moves. Oh, oh countered though. Countered by Clavius. Huge counter. Oh, Arkley out of nowhere. <laughs> That's it. He's beating the world champ. It's going to be. the heck he is. Oh. Yeah. oh. Wow. Well, that, that might be why he's the world champ. <laughs> Dimmy. <laughs> it could be Dimmy. Oh, man. Dimmy wasn't in the match, was he? I'm pretty sure. If Mystery himself doesn't know who he is, then it, I suspect Dimmy. <laughs> Unbelievable! I've never seen that in the JFW. Neither have I. Incredible stuff. Oh, oh. That could be it. He's done mm. it. Oh, no! Two and three quarters. So close. Oh, man. Wow, this really is a close one. Anybody's game from here. <laughs> yep, he's got the J5 taunts. <laughs> Just mocking him. No wonder J5 attacks him. Imagine. Yeah. That'd drive you mad, right? If everybody thinks it's you because somebody's out there doing your stuff. <laughs> yeah. Shake, the shake roll. Roll e. <laughs> I think he's got it. Shake rattle and e. <laughs> He's Ebenezer good, Jim, because somehow... Oh, what? He's not going for the pin. Oh, man. He is too hyped. Imagine being too hyped to win. Yeah. It's... Maybe it's... Uh... Oh, I can't remember the name of that idiot. I don't get hype, I stay hype. <laughs> oh, my, oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I really thought he was struggling. I thought Clavius was winning this one easily. And whoever this Mr. E is was just biding his time. Busts him open, curb stomp, and the world champion wins. No! What? <laughs> wow. Credit to Clavius. That's unreal. Yeah, incredible. Incredible kick out. We've had some amazing matches tonight, and here we go. Bleeding like a pig, beaten to a pulp. Clavius is fighting back, and he's going for a weapon. That's a oh, great God. strategy. A table? Oh, 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 my word. What? <laughs> Get the tables. Mr. E's still out. No, just recovers in time. Oh, oh, oh dumps him under the table. 
Oh, then the ducky fell. Does Clavius know something we don't? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Pins him on the table. Mm. Serves him up for dinner. Kicks out at two. <laughs> I think I might skip that meal, Jim. <laughs> Tables have turned. <laughs> oh, there we go. We are clear again. Somehow, Shoot, Clavius it. turned this right around, and that's got to be it. Yes. <laughs> Clavius beats the world champion in a storming matchup. And we're not any closer to knowing who he is. Boy, howdy. Jim, what, if, what if he loses the title before we ever find out who he is? That would be a tragedy, wouldn't it? It would seem a bit of a shame, but the history books would never know. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, the, the, it's Mystery. He's, he's a superstar in his own right, isn't he? You know, that's it. That's who would win. It would be Mystery. He's been oh, one so. world champion before Mystery. It's just that that Mystery was later revealed to be Johnny Five. Who knows if this Mystery will ever be revealed is his alternate uh, identity. I guess we, we may never know. <laughs> but yeah, huge wow. win for Clavius. Wow. <laughs> now we've got a really stupid match. <laughs> we've got a Blitz Pit special. <laughs> yeah, the, the 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 tournament that's happening next week is going to be the first round. Uh, well, this this Saturday, in fact, is the is the is the qualifier round where it's going to be five matches, and then two weeks after that, we're going to have the actual Blitz Pit teams events. And these this is Team Wales without an H and versus Team Wales with an H. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Fantastic, Jim. Yeah, some absolutely amazing teams uh, lining up for later this month. And uh, here's two of them. Yeah. Some people's favourites, aren't they? These guys, I think, KFOG, PC, and, and Jimmy Fantastic, they've all won Blitzpit before in the past. That's I don't think that any other team has that such an honour, to be honest. I think that is the only, no. the only team that's no. made of three champs. You're right. You're right. Well, there's not that many champs to go around, right? True, yeah. Dio's won like three himself, hasn't he? <laughs> 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 so Dio's team looks pretty incredible. Dio, Tri, and Cruz. That is, uh, that is a hell of a team. But this team is no slouches, is it? They're who they're facing. We've got the Bread Mass, we've got Odon and Flicky Flack. Very, very good. No, they can they can all play. There's quite a few teams made up of really really solid coaches, and uh, it, it wouldn't be too big of a surprise if one of the lesser fancied teams came through to win the thing. Absolutely not, no. And the funny thing I always find about qualifying is that the ten teams that play on Saturday will have have that much more recent practice, right? Yeah, yeah, very good point. <laughs> Great to see Kful, Big Kev. <laughs> PTK back in the JFW and back in Blood Bowl 2. Oh, yeah, glorious. We missed him. But yeah, like, he, I think he's uninstalled Blood Bowl 2 even. He's got to reinstall it, you know? So, like, this is. <laughs> he's going to be out of practice. In terms of, like, with the client, obviously not that he still plays Blood Bowl all the time. The guy's a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Glorious. Thanks, Muppet. Yeah. <laughs> There's no one really there able to do the hair flick like Roman Reigns is there, but never mind. <laughs> oh, probably. What a what a hand from from K Fog. He's a giant of a man, isn't he? He is, he certainly is, and he's the Jolly Green Giant, apparently, this evening. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty great, I see, for you. Yeah. Oh, boy. At a combined weight of 734 pounds, O'Don Ty won the match. Great to see uh, O'Don. We don't always see that much of him. One of the original great JFW superstars, <laughs> Flicky Lebred Mask, of course. Constant on various title scenes. 
Yeah, and they, they were a tag that. team of their own, right? Plain white toast, but then Flicky displayed his no zero qualms about murdering the bread mask. Because <laughs> since then they haven't teamed up, but now I guess just specially for this blitz pit competition, great to see those two on the same page. <laughs> it is. It is. No, Flicky got to find a, a new route in life now in the JFW as uh, we've just seen what an unbelievable mark Store's already made on the Plimplon Plusweight division. Absolutely, yeah. Great start from Jim, already going better than last week did for him. <laughs> oh, God, oh saying this. that! The power of Odon there for everyone to see. <laughs> Jim fighting back though, back and forth we go between the two. He's got to watch out for those feet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the German, the German prehistoric turtle. <laughs> Do you oh know what, word, Jack? He took one of the feet to the head. I can't even argue with you. <laughs> I can't even argue with you. Oh, great CPC in action. Yeah, great tagging from Jim. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Ref, get him out of there. Oh, my word. PC going for the choke slam? No. Changes his mind. Maybe he realized he was up against Ordon and the dumping on his shell wouldn't be very effective. <laughs> Good thinking. Oh, and there's a tag of his own. PC oh. versus the bread mask. <laughs> Neither guy has eye holes. <laughs> Love to see it. <laughs> oh, wow. PC can't get the bread mask up. Yes, second attempt. It'd, uh, you'd be a little embarrassed if you couldn't get a plimplom plus away up for a suplex, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Feeds him to the ring post. The bread mask already in trouble. Especially fights back, but misses with the spinning heel kick. <laughs> PC taking full advantage, clubbing him down. Tom Schnitz regretting oh, not being able to see now, maybe. <laughs> oh, wow, well done, back in. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until oh, I was nicely done, and the bread mask had taken a little bit of offense there from PC. Defend. Not the worst idea. Keep him flicky fresh. For a big run later, he does end well, does Flicky. And he does. Thank you very much, Folly, for staying fantastic for 29 glorious months. Wow, what a devastating power slam from Ordon. Trying to tag in Flicky, isn't he? He is. He's seeing all sorts of trouble, and here comes the big man. Oh. Maybe PC needs to, to bring in their own big man, PTK. Saying that, PC doing all right so far against Flicky. Yeah. Look at the power up. He doesn't feel <laughs> it. Oh my word, Dex him. Oh man. PC desperately going for the tag now. Yeah. He does? Oh my word. There is some meat in this ring. <laughs> Oh, baby, everyone's favorite, Big Kev. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you like me in your ring at all, Jim? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, Rick. <laughs> just, just, just a question. Uh, slams Flicky. Oh, PTK dominating, but uh, PC had softened up Flicky somewhat here. He's really in a bad way. Desperately going for the tag, makes it. The bread mask. David versus Goliath now, and look at the speed of Lebred Mask getting the better of PTK. Needs to do more than that, though. The second one still doesn't get him down. Stunning him. There we go. Third time lucky. Down goes PTK. <laughs> yes, that's a... I'm just gobsmacked at Rick after Dan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uppercut from Lebred Mask. Ooh. Oh no! Oh, he dodges out the way, the plim plum loser! Coming for an arc, they all but fails. Great dodge from PTK as well, though, and there's the uppercut. Hoo hoo, doesn't topple him. 
Yeah, it's so hard to get PTK down, especially a man of the bread mask size. PTK ducks. The bread mask catches him again, though. Going for the tag with Odon. Gets it. Really nice that Big Kev and PC are letting the Make a Wish Foundation candidate oh. Jimmy feel like HES in a real wrestling match. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Foley. It is, isn't it? <laughs> First, they let me on the Blitz Pit team, and now they've let me in the wrestling match. <laughs> oh, what a power slam! What a power slam! Dreams really can come true, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, hello, PC. <laughs> Word stomps to the face from Odont. Oh my word, PTK go to the second rope! No! Oh, don't the do PTK it. bomb! Oh! Oh! Hold on, Shell Shock! He's got, got him! him. <gasps> oh! Oh, well, that was it! Yeah, we need to see some teammates doing a little bit better tonight than we've seen so far. Oh yeah! Jim, feeling it! Not the meat in his ring. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, beautiful from Jim. Oh, my word. Looked like he knocked Odon out, but playing possum a little bit. Comes back with the arm drag reversal. Oh. Spinebuster. Oh, boy, he's calling for the Odonabon. Oh. Oh, Team shit. Wales, high alert. You better be ready. Oh, boy. Oh, Donta Bomb! Absolutely devastating maneuver. Yeah, Surely Jim's some, gone. It's not coming in! No! Oh. Oh my. The classic never say die, always kick out attitude of Jimmy Fantastic <laughs> on full effect there. <laughs> well, then thank God that it was because his teammates were uninterested in helping him. <laughs> <laughs> certainly were. Oh my word! Oh! <laughs> Oh, Odon was going for the tag. <laughs> Jim's going for the tag. Adont, you can't do Odon's that to the Make a Wish him. kid. Yeah. Don't hurt Jimmy. In comes yes. Mickey. In comes PTK. It's the big man once more. PTK got the best of this last time and he gets the best of this this time. Oh my goodness. Oh, reversal. Oh my goodness. No. No. Pompfax handle slam by Flicky. How has he managed that? Boy, howdy. There's no gym in sight, it's just PTK and PC for now. Ooh. And PTK is struggling. PC is going to have to be limber and ready to go if the flat hammer hits. But nice reversal by PTK. Flicky's not looking very calm. He looks, he looks like he's just had his, his bear killed. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that clip, Ray? Yeah. God, it was <laughs> yeah. amazing. <laughs> No offense, Flicky. But God, it was really funny. It was so good because like, I knew he was going to get Kaz. And it was like, oh my God, he's going to get Kaz. But then when it was killed as well, it was even better. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, Flicky with the reversal. No, can't land it. PC, right back oh, in control. What a scoop. Oh. Tombstone, pile driver. Odon, is he in time? Oh. Flicky finding the kick out. Yes, yeah, somehow Flicky kicked out. PC missing Odon. Odon sneaking away. Jim not able to intercept. At least Jim's back. PC exhausted now from his efforts. Thanks, Store. Yeah, if anyone hasn't seen it, you should, you should give that a watch. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I've just spoiled it a little bit, but still, it was great. It was still great. <laughs> <laughs> wow, PC out. Yeah, Red man. mask stalking his prey. PC making a comeback. <laughs> no. Lands heavily on his hip on the outside. Oh, God. He's at that age where he might need a hip replacement as well. <laughs> you never know. Oh, my, oh, being mocked. Being mocked oh. by the bread mask. 
Lebred Mass doing a bit of acting. Disgusterous. <laughs> Hello, folks of media. Yeah, we're all we're all Welsh. Uh, myself, KFOG, and PC. We're all definitely hundred percent Welsh. <laughs> Just as Maybe Welsh as most PC's of the people. PC's not moving. He's not. PC completely out. Up to he five. might be having a nap, though, Jim. Yeah, he might have just dozed off, might he? I, yeah. I think that happens yeah. now when he's at this age. PTK <laughs> standing protectively over him. It's over, Jim. It is. It's, Tim it is, Wales have lost. Tim Wales victorious. It's, it's art over. imitating life. The breadmaster knows it. He celebrates the win. The ref checks. There's no movement. We're done. <laughs> Poor old PC just needed a nap. <laughs> now that is a conceivable way that Team Wales can lose, but it's meant to be fair. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> what a match. <laughs> what a great... Love it, BC. It's all good, my man. It's all good. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> That's true, wow. but, but yeah, there's a lot of Team Wales in... <laughs> there's a lot of Team Wales in Blitzpit. <laughs> How has this got booked, Jim? How has this match got booked? I don't understand. Well, Goliath announced his intention to compete for the Extra Arms Belt Championship, and this is the match that he's got himself. All of Quad Skulls are coming in to lay the wow. smack down on him. Absolutely outrageous. A pack of dogs. It's it's an absolute disgrace, isn't it? Absolute I don't know disgrace. why Jim McMahon doesn't put a, a stop to this. Rick seems to have some sort of hold over the JFW at the moment. It is a reign of no. terror right now, you're right. Absolutely disgraceful. Disgusting, I, just despicable. All of the Ds. <laughs> <laughs> you do like all of the Ds, Jim. Hey. So, <laughs> Goliath Games should have known better though, right? Like. Shouldn't have even announced it that he was going for the extra arms belt champion. Should have just turned up at WrestleMania. This was bound to happen. Well, you know, what can I say? You know, there's all <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of meat in, a lot of meat in the ring as well. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, that's uh, I mean he had to he had to eventually choose, right? You know, the, it's unfair on uh, the other champs to not know who they've got to defend against. He did have to decide and uh Obviously, he had the he had the chance of the what's it called elimination chamber. wasn't able to win the world championship, so now he's just decided to cash in. Yep, good uh, good decision. Plus, he's he's got some bad blood with Rick Wright. He felt like he uh, deserved a proper second shot at the world championship. He never got it. He got uh, some sort of weird hybrid Survivor Series title shot, and his teammates let him down a bit there. So uh, oh, finally earned himself the match that everyone's been waiting for after the uh, the quick and somewhat underhanded countout victory that Rick pulled out at Hammergen. Yep. Pretty. It's really tainted. Uh, it's really kind of tainted Rick's uh, Rick's whole thing, hasn't it? Lately, like this this quad skulls being up, the you know the Scuro and the, the countout win. It's all a bit. It's a bit shady, bit, bit, it's bad news, isn't it? Bad news. Well, you, you say that, Jim, and I, I, I understand your viewpoint, but sometimes you've got to get done what you've got to get done right. Like, it's good to see somebody taking it seriously, wanting to be the champion, giving it everything that is required, no matter what that is. You know, he's the only guy that's been the three times extra arms belt champion in the last year, and there's a reason for that. Mm, that's true. Oh, baby. 
his entrance isn't quite as erotic as this though. <laughs> <laughs> We shouldn't talk too bad about Rick. He's having the night off tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did manage to he did manage to get a night off as well. Yeah, funny that, isn't it? Yet more dastardly, dastardly avoidance must have been taking tips off Artemis Black. <laughs> 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 I, uh, I hear Rick and Jim got each other in the chalice, Jim. They did, yeah. I, I heard that as well. I think I think uh, Jim wants to play on Saturday so he can stay in a little bit longer. <laughs> 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 I'm uh, not not sure that match is going to go that way, but yeah, that sounds good. We'll see anyway. We'll sort it out soon. I'll just have a bit of a think, but uh... yeah, no no rush at all. Not going to be an easy match at all. I wonder if the combined weight of quad skills is more than Goliath. That's a good point. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when we say this is a handicap match, which way are we talking? <laughs> I'm not. I'm also not sure the combined IQ of Quad Skulls is more than Goliath. <laughs> nah, that's unfair. Elliot's pretty smart. <laughs> Elliot just chose to play more than 100 games of Nurgle in a season. That's a, oh, that's a good point. <laughs> if he was smart before last season, <laughs> he isn't anymore. Oh, glorious. <laughs> it's us, Prime. Good stuff, man. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Ask away tomorrow, mate. <laughs> oh, nice uh, spinning heel kick from Elliot. And Goliath Games needs to get off to an absolutely steaming start here, doesn't he? It's so hard to win these handicap matches. And that's two on one, let alone three on one. I can't believe this is going on. Yes, yeah, it's outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. The way that we tend to see anyone pull out an upset in these is submission, Jim. For some reason, teammates can be a little bit uh, unaware that their partner's about to tap. So if somehow Goliath Games can get a couple of moves in and a cheeky submission, he might just be able to sneak it. Yeah, yeah. Submission and countouts are the big ones, aren't they, for sure? Yeah. Countouts, yeah. Nice. Ooh, 619? No. <laughs> he could just choose to get himself disqualified as well, you know. Low blow or weapon shot one of them, take somebody out with you. Yeah, that's a, that's a great idea. Makes a, makes a statement to Rick, doesn't it, without having the humiliation of getting beaten up by his mates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is all right from Goliath so far. Jabal in a bit of trouble. Yeah. Problem is, Jabal's got somewhere to go, and Goliath Games does not. Yeah. And the interference on the pins as well, isn't it? Like, if they just would, couldn't interfere for the pins, then yep. that would be a big, big advantage. But, but Goliath Games in particular as well is a bit of a freight train in the JFW. You can come out flying, absolutely smash anybody. But at some point, he's going to run out of steam. And there's no breather when there's uh, three other people breathing down in your neck. Absolutely. When there's one man in your in your ring and there's two more waiting to replace him, that's bad times. It's hard times, Jim. That's hard times. <laughs> I'm giving him a massage here, though. So that's nice. That was nice of Jack Bull. Yeah, it might might feel a bit better after that, at least. <laughs> yeah. Jack Bull, not all bad. <laughs> Oh, Goliath Games making a bit of a comeback. I thought Jackball was going to make the tag, and he finds himself choked out in the opposite corner. The giant, giant boot. Goliath Games. Ah, Goliath's just so big, isn't he? This is like... It is a mismatch, but then there are three of them, so <laughs> it's not that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. every, every move is devastating, and we've seen it. We've seen so many other big guys try and take on Goliath Games. Nobody can hang with him. That's how he got his uh, world title in the first place. World title shot, rather. Extra arms belt title shot against Rick. And uh, the only way Rick could beat him was uh, was to chop him down to size on the outside and sneak back in the ring. Yeah. Oh. oh, my. Oh, my word. Jabal needs to get out of there. This is bad. Real bad. This is actually a match so far. 
Goal breaker counter buys him a second. Campbell a little bit uh, historically sus. Not, not going for the tags when he really should. <laughs> oh, my word. And if there's one thing he really, really shouldn't do. I don't know whether he could jump when he was younger. Oh, oh he lands it. Oh, He's my goodness. Gone. Thankfully, Goliath Games less than three feet away. <laughs> wow, getting a two count already. That's, that's bad news for Goliath. Pretty, pretty ominous, Jim. Pretty ominous. It was a big splash off the top, to be fair. It was, yeah. They've had a pretty great match, Jack Ball and Goliath, but that is now over. <laughs> Double super kick, and this is the problem. Suddenly, fresh man in the ring, fighting Goliath Games, and Goliath Games has basically just finished an entire one-on-one -on -one match. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty brutal. Despicable tactics. From from Rick Reckless and Quad Skulls. Well, who's who's to say that Rick has anything to do with this, Jim? I don't see Rick anywhere. <laughs> you don't see him, but you know that his malignant influence has, has, has been... Oh, my God. He's, oh, he's, God. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Glass games. <laughs> Finding a second wind. Elliot in trouble. <laughs> but Rick, Rick and Quad Skulls aren't the JFW bookers, Jim. That's true, but, you know, they... They, they took it in their own hands last week, didn't they, with the, the horrendous backstage attacks? Yeah, any, anybody can attack someone backstage. And, you know, fair enough, say what you will about that. But uh, somebody's made this match. The only person I can think is James McMahon, and I don't understand why. Well, maybe Even he didn't Rick want his show ruined wide. again, right? Maybe he didn't want his show ruined. Already, last week, half the matches were cancelled because of these guys assaulting them backstage. So he just thought, you know... Screw it, it's gonna, <laughs> they're going to do it. I can't stop them. So, so what, what you're saying is Quad Skull's doing smart business getting the belt back on and keeping it on Rick, and Jim's doing smart business keeping uh, Monday Night Claw going. So, no, so but... really, none of this is personal to anyone, <laughs> and everybody's just getting uh, good business done. No. Quad Skulls are holding the, the whole JFW to ransom. Outrageous. Oh, here we go, Jim. <laughs> oh, my word. Ooh, glorious DDT. That was, that was really something. Put his weight into that as well. And here we go again. Oh, my word. Sidewalk slam. Oof. Elliot. Could be done. Could do with it. Nobody breaking this up, Jim. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. Blythe Games going to slap a bear hug in or something. This might be the time. Oh, dirty pin from earlier. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Trying to cheat to win even in a three-on-one match. Wow. <laughs> I, <laughs> I admire the dedication to the strategy. <laughs> Nogle's changed Elliot, hasn't it? <laughs> it? It really has. He, I think he considers this the promised land. <laughs> And now we've got another fresh guy in. Yeah, this is ridiculous now. Goliath Games now gone through two entire singles matches. Effectively won both. And now is again against a fresh man. This is absolutely insane. Yeah. That's got to be it. He can just tap now and we're done. Might as well. He, he probably should. He really should. There's nothing to be gained from carrying on. All he's going to do is soften himself up for when he faces Rick at WrestleMania. It's true. Oh my! Ooh. Oh my goodness, Jim! Well, that's why he shouldn't concede. He can get. He can do some damage to this Norseman. <laughs> Jawbreaker from Space Cadet. Big counter. Ooh. Oh my goodness! Clive Games drops toe hold takedown. I don't think I've ever seen him pull that out. Mm. Oh wow! Oh. I haven't seen that before. I don't think. Disgusting use of the ring ropes from Glyph Games. Devastating. Ref needs to have a word. We want we want honest, good matchup going on here. An honest three versus one matchup, yep. Oh my oh my goodness. Ref, stop this. Ref <laughs> Oh boy. What goes up must come down. Brutal, but I mean Spear hasn't been in long, has he? Maybe he won't. Yeah. Whew. Wow. Whew. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> what you get. Like a fresh man. Oh, 
Am I right in hearing that is Elliot in the same quarter of the draw as uh, Jim and Rick? <laughs> I think he. No, I think he's in the same. I think he's in the same quarter. Yeah, the same quarter, but not the same eight. Chris is in the same eight. Okay. <laughs> Crucifer nine. <laughs> yeah. Rick's never gone out to him many, many times. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be rough. It's going to be... It's a rough draw for both of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funny one where the loser wins and the winner loses. Yeah, maybe. Wow. Wow, space space is being rowdy. Really? Yeah, just antagonising the crowd and live games and the ref. <laughs> wow, and, and that could be it. That is, oh. that is it. <laughs> he knew he had him. It's the tap. Mm. Didn't want to let go. <laughs> and uh, credit to Quad Skulls, because uh, Goliath Games is not an easy man to beat, and they've done it. They stand victorious, Jim. Yeah, real credit for them winning a three-on-one match. Despicable. Absolutely despicable. Quad Skulls, how the mighty have fallen. And look like they've fallen much to me, Jim. Looks to me like they've got the extra arms belt champion and they just won a match in the main Morally. Monday Night Four. Morally, Rick. Morally. <laughs> These used to be lovely fellas. They were all stand-up guys. And now they're just a bunch of degenerates you, playing Nurgle, you, cheating to win. You be, you, be, you be a moral loser, Jim, and, and, uh, and they'll be winners. I'm sure they'll take that. <laughs> Look at it. They, Jebel wouldn't be celebrating like that if it didn't mean everything to them. If they hadn't had to put their heart and soul into this. I don't know. I saw Jack Bull celebrating like that when Chelsea won the league once. <laughs> <laughs> like Steve Muddy gets it. Steve Muddy gets it. <laughs> well, there you go. Unbelievable. Um, <laughs> hello, Frosty. Yeah, it was a... Uh, it was a, it was a great match though, incredible match and uh, incredible show. Thank you very much, Rick. As always, absolutely glorious. Thank you. Pleasure to be here, Jim. Great to see it all play out. Amazing matches tonight. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>